Hey everybody, my name is Ben Blackman and I'm going to show you how to install and use Globe, <laughs> Google's global site tag in Kajabi. Okay, and that, that'll be on your main website and that'll also be on any standalone pages and that kind of thing. Now there is a couple of caveats to it that I feel like we got to talk about. The first one is, is if you're using Google Tag Manager, you don't have to do any of this. Okay, so um, Google's been trying to unify everything, and that's it's going to go the way of Google Tag Manager. Of course, that's what they've been saying for a while, a couple of years. Um, but ultimately, Google Tag Manager, you don't need um, to do any of this because it would have been done there. That's fine. If you're not using Google Tag Manager, or you need to know how to install it um, on Kajabi, I have another video. Will be uh, the link will be in the show notes. If you're not using Google Tag Manager, that's fine, not a problem. So let's talk about what the global site site tag is and what it means and how it helps you. Okay, so there's there's the global site tag might contain different kinds of information. It might have information about your Google Analytics account, right? Or it might have information about your Google Ads account, right? So most of you guys are probably more concerned about the Ads account part of it unless you're doing um, your goal tracking and stuff like that through analytics and transferring that over to Google Ads. I'm not trying to make it too complicated. I'm just trying to let you know if that's what you're doing. I am going to suggest that if you don't have Google Analytics installed, go ahead and put it there because it's not going to hurt you any to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that first. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to look at is uh, the website that I have, which is actually it's just a test website, the one that we're going to look at. And then I'm also going to show you a standalone page, okay, and what it has on it currently. So if I go to um, this site right here, and I look at my Google Tag Assistant, and I click here, there's nothing on there. That means there's no tags. A tag being the, uh, you know, the global site uh, tag or any other tag. Facebook Pixel could be anything, really. Uh, I'm sorry, it would be like Google Tag Manager um, or remarketing tags or anything like that. All right, same way with the test page over here. You can see that there's nothing on it. Okay, nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to install um, Google Analytics into Kajabi. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Settings. We're going to go into Third-Party Integrations, and if you already have it installed, that's great. You're going to scroll down here to Google Analytics and turn that on. Go to your Google Analytics account. You'll click right here where it says Admin. It'll bring up this information. You want to go to Tracking Info, Tracking Code, and there it is. Okay, that's the code that you need. Now, yes, you will see where this says the global site tag, um, but you do not need to get this. Okay, you can use it, this if you want. It's a little more complicated, although there are some benefits to using it, but for most people, grabbing this is going to be good enough. So go back out into Kajabi, paste that in there, hit save. Now let's go back into those two, and I'm going to refresh this page. And you can see that Google Analytics is there. Lovely, that's good. And then if I refresh this page, you can see it's here too, right? So each of those two pages, whoops, yeah, you can see it's here too. Both of those two pages, you're, you're good. So now comes the part of where you're going to take the global site tag from Google AdWords, or Google Ads now, and input it. Now the benefit again is for tracking purposes, so you can do remarketing and to track conversions. The only caveat to that is, is that your main website, like the main website pages in Kajabi, like if I go to my website here, these pages right here, Technically, you can't track conversions doing it this way. You'll have to use Google Tag Manager. Okay, but the good news is, is that most of the time that's not where you're going to track conversions. Most of the time you're going to track conversions um, from your page builder and on these standalone pages um, or your pipeline pages. Okay, so it's stuff like that. That's where you'll track uh, your conversions. So. Um, however, you still want to install the global site tag on your main, on your, your full website because you can still use it for remarketing. Okay. It's kind of like retargeting Facebook. Actually, it's the same thing, same exact thing. So you're going to go into your Google Ads account. You'll hit tools and settings, conversions. Then you're going to come to track sales or whatever it is that you're going to do. Uh, lead. You just fill out the, whatever's appropriate here for you. Okay. I'm going to do tests before because I've done this a bunch of times um, and again fill this out for whatever's appropriate create and continue now I'm going to install the tag myself 
this right here, all this stuff right here, don't ignore it because if you read it, it's going to sound like we're not setting it up the way that they say, but we are. Okay. So what you're going to do is just leave it on this first one and we're going to grab the whole global site tag right here. Okay. And leave this window open because you're going to have to come back to it. Grab this. We're going to go in. Um, we're going to go into our website. We're going to manage themes. We're going to scroll down here. I'm going to go right here and edit code. This is the theme. It's like a test theme. Under layouts, not under templates, okay, but under layouts, I'm going to go to theme.liquid. Right past the head code, I can hit enter and then paste the global site tag from Google Ads Manager. Okay, I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to um, go back to that page and refresh it. So watch what happens right there. So now you can see there are three tags, the global site tag, the ads remarketing tag, and Google Analytics. And those are all fine. That These colors are fine. If it was red or something, then it might be a problem. Not always, but might be. But these are all fine. Okay. Still nothing on the, the test page. It still just shows Google Analytics because these are standalone pages that technically aren't directly connected to your website, if that makes any sense. Okay. I mean, even though it's on the same domain, it's not dir directly connected. All right. So now what do we do? Well, we still need to go into each, you know, any page that we're going to have that we want to do our remarketing and track people and so forth. We need to add that code. So if I go back to website here and I go to page builder and it's for this page right here. So say this is a thank you page, right? Say this is the thank you page for somebody buying something or opting in or whatever. Then I'll come to it. I'll click here. I'll edit code. And I'm going to go to templates, not layouts in this case. I'm going to go index.liquid. I'm going to do the same thing, go here and then hit enter. I'm going to do this. Okay, so the global site tag is there. But before I save this, I need to grab another piece of code real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back to Google Ads. I'm going to scroll down. And this I want this event to trigger when the page loads. So if somebody gets to the thank you page, I want this, I want it to tell, you know, Google, hey, you know this converted this is what I wanted them to do I'll take this information right here I'll copy it it's just another little piece of code I'll go back here oops I'll go back here and right below where I pasted this one right past the head tag I'm gonna paste this second one and then I'm gonna save okay now when I do that what's gonna happen here once I hit refresh see now it's got four tags fired so those tags are the global site tag Google Ads Conversion Tracking, Google Ads Remarketing, and Google Analytics. So it basically added this Google Ads Conversion Tracking. So when somebody hits this page, it's telling Google, hey, this is they did what they were supposed to do. If I go back to the main website, you can still see it's only three. Right? Hit refresh, it's still only these three because I don't want to count somebody coming to this page as a conversion. Okay. I know that was a lot of information. I hope it made sense. If it didn't, right? please let me know and I'll remake this and try to simplify it a little bit. That's it. I hope that helps and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.